No, no, no. no, no not allowed. The teachers have been turned down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what was your reaction when you first saw this event? She, uh, actually, I had spoken to her about, uh, she told me about this book <coughs> while she was writing it and this, you know, she, I think, had met uh, a, a few of the usual suspects, me being one of them, to figure out what to write, how to write it, etc. So I don't know what I spoke, I don't remember, it was a very long session. And uh, um, anyway, so then, but I was very impressed by the fact that she's actually writing a book on this. Yeah. And um, and it's out now and I'm, I'm still waiting to really read it. I've just kind of glimpsed through it. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, the, I, my reaction was that, wow, she's, and I knew that she's an intelligent girl yeah. because she's been to the same college as me. Ah, she's <laughs> the same college. So, uh, but, but, you know, she was talking with a great deal of perception and I think, I, uh, my feeling was that this book, if written well, is going to be very helpful for th those millions of people who want to become actors. Absolutely. And you, another interesting comment was that you said it saves groping in the dark time, really. Is that what it was all about, really? Like when newcomers come to Bombay, who are you really targeting this book at? <coughs> Essentially two sorts of people, cinema as you know, other than cricket is a sort of religion for uh, Indians and uh, you know you get asked all kinds of inane questions, uh, I mean they're inane to us because we're so used to those sort of uh, you know, th things that we take for granted. For example, they ask you things like, uh, shooting ke baad aapke ka kya hota hai? I know you're thinking, what happens? Uh, dress man is going to take it, what happens? They ask you questions like that. And then they ask you, okay, you go to the shot every time, you don't get bored. So you know, the, the, the film uh, buff uh, is not your uh, uh, duffer person who comes and watches movies. They also want to know what happens behind. When we edit it, when we edit it, when we tell the story, then that's only like maybe over two or three or five percent of what the director wants you to see. So he's pieced together what is relevant to the story. But there are many, because life is happening also as it's happening, the matrix of life is unfolding. So there are relationships being formed, there's, uh, you know, a, a, a dress man who can, you know, sing, and there's somebody else who is the ambassador of Greece has come and visited the shoot, and he's, you know, how he's a Bollywood buff, and he's seen Shole 17 times, and you know, so all these kinds of interesting things that Hindi movies do to people. And uh, in Russia, something is happening, and so it's, it's affecting the world, how, so it's all that that goes in. So the for the film buff who's interested in knowing what actually happens at the heart of movies, plus also for the aspiring actor, obviously. So groping in the dark for sure, because uh, there is a great deal of uh, uh, um, you know areas which are which are unfamiliar and uncharted. So I would I would uh, hope that there would be uh, some some kind of flag posts to say. Of course, there's no. Uh, so yeah, but because, because it is a creative field, you can't really say that, okay, I went to uh, IIT and then I went to uh, IIM and then I, you know, got uh, picked up from campus recruitment and then, you know, so and so. But there isn't such a, such a game plan for an actor. Many, many actors get recruited in coffee shops. Uh, and Imtiaz goes to, uh, where? Uh, Prague to cast uh, non-Indian actors, uh, whatever. You know, so he... All the things like spices to Prague are all going to shoot them now. Yeah, so he's, you know, so the, all, all the, you can find people uh, well, anywhere. But uh, having said that, I hope that there is some some sense made out of uh, the chaos. Isn't there a bit of a dangerous myth, though, that, you know, the directors are sitting in these coffee shops kind of casting people, so a lot of people think that, okay, this is going to happen to me as well. You know, do you want to also kind of maintain a little bit of the reality of that situation? Does that really happen that much? Ask him about the casting couch. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to speak about the casting couch now. <laughs> That's what everyone wants to know. Yeah, just is, save is it for the right? last. Yeah. Every, everybody wants the to know about fun. the casting couch. Yeah, yeah, everybody wants to know about the casting couch. But one thing I'd like to say about all, uh, all, the, uh, all that Tiska said right now, it gave me the impression that the book is also written to tell the world how hard an actor works. You know, because she said with a lot of disgust that directors keep only this much of the edited portion. There are so many takes and so much that goes on, you work so hard. So somebody, you know, you have to tell the world that, you know, we work so hard. It's not only that these two minutes that have been uh, taken to shoot this scene of two minutes. 
But uh, yeah, so a lot of myths um, or a lot of questions, I think, for, for people, and everybody's interested. People in villages want to know. I don't know why is it so boring. And how can I get tired of gaping at my star after five minutes? You know, so they don't know what this guy does behind yeah. what happens, of course. Yeah. But, uh, you know, there are also certain more insightful things over there than the obvious. For instance, um, I think it was Robert De Niro who was asked why actors who work the least in a film unit, perhaps, um, get paid the most. So, um, because you hardly work. So he said, uh, well, we are not paid for your acting. That we would do anyway, free of cost. We get paid for waiting. Nobody waits as much as us. And what happens when you are on the set for so long, waiting, preparing, what? That is one thing that is very intriguing, you know. Uh, and, and that I think also in some sort of a way, sitting in, uh, on, on the side, makes your performance better or worse, makes your profession and your life better or worse. I, don't, I, I couldn't be an actor because of that, I think. Because of the waiting. Because, yeah, because what do you do, man? Say that there's other reasons that he didn't become an actor, but more on that later. Because I had the ta talent to direct, unlike unlike some people. Ouch! 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 Um, yeah, it's 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 a very idea of uh, serious actor, dramatic actor staying in character and then people walking around with this big cloud on their head and you know, holding this posture or body language. Uh, I've, I've always found that rather odd. You know, uh, also, you don't buy into that too, I don't think so. I mean, yeah. it doesn't, maybe that's not my method, but yeah. there, there must be somebody's method, obviously, because people do it and it does work. Uh, however, I do think that uh, what Anupam Kher said to me when I met him, was, um, I think on the second day in Bombay, uh, I'd gone along with his makeup man to meet him because he was the only star I, I had the chance to encounter. So he said, hmm, actor when are you? Achha, achha, bahut achha. Uh, like reading books? So I said, yeah, a lot. He said, very good. And, uh, kisi bhi time so sakti ho? So I looked at him. I said, kisi ke saath ya? I said, akele. So he, 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 he said, he said, no, no, you can sleep with yourself, you can sleep with yourself. So he said, I said, yes, you can sleep with yourself. So he said, good, then you can survive the film industry because it's about how much you can actually get to rest between because it's, it, it, it's excruciatingly painful to wait for sometimes five or six hours or, you know, waiting for magic hour, four in the morning, in the morning, in the morning, in the morning, you know, so you have to wait for certain set conditions or wait for snow to fall so that you can get a fresh patch of snow, other such things which you, and then you find, because people in, uh, in who, who actually becomes an actor, somebody who thinks he's special, somebody who thinks he's got an oddball gift, somebody who thinks that we have to be in Entertainer hi hai, hum to aur, hum ko yehi karna hai. Somebody with quirks and somebody who's got something going on, khalbali going on inside. So you know, then you put a bunch of these kind of people together, to kuch to khatpat hogi, kuch ego, kuch uh, trouble, kuch masti, kuch, you know, something will happen. And sometimes a, a strange harmony occurs and fantastic friendships are formed and a magical piece of work happens and so it's all, all of that. So it's this exploring this whole um, uh, dynamic, the, the harmonizing, the disharmony, the, the, the various things that can happen. So, and you know, talking about ego, you know, in Kaj, we were talking about you earlier, as you probably figured, and she said, you know, you're a very old, pure soul. So she said, 